Good evening, welcome to Book Time. Book Time. So. Joining me once again is none other than uh, Joe Bennett. You're a writer. Welcome to the show, Joe. Thank you very much, Lee. Lovely to be here again. Joe, what sort of stuff have you been reading over the holidays that you can share with it with the home TV audience? I've been reading several novels by a fellow called Justin Cartwright. Justin Cartwright. Yes. Have, have you read any? No, I don't know. You're a lovely novelist. Love, done about or ten novels, something like that, and uh, knocks out about one a year. In a way, they're all the same, but they're all beautiful. Well, I just interrupt you here, Joe. This is a book yeah. I've been reading um, over the holidays. It's called The Book of Miniature Horses. It's, it's an introductory, I suppose, to um, the buying, breeding, training, showing and enjoying of your miniature horse, what, your what? Shetlands, that kind of thing. What other miniature horses are there, apart from Shetlands? You've been reading it? Well, it mainly focuses on your Shetlands. I mean, that's similar to a, to a big horse. Colour. Kind of thing there. I, I thought I'd read, I'll read that. I'll leave that with you, uh, Joe. And uh, yeah, what, what else have you been well, reading? Well, I've been reading very little about miniature horses. I, I have to admit. Um, did read a book which um, called *The Ancestor's Tale* by a fellow called Richard Dawkins, and it traces the uh, the human being backwards from our present evolutionary state backwards to well, bacteria. Really. Well, this is uh, miniature horses. This is a veterinary guide for owners of breeders, so obviously a little bit more hands-on than the, the introductory book I showed you earlier. This is a little bit more, you know, you're getting amongst it. You um, really are into miniature horses, aren't you? I'm not really. Um, this is something I learned from reading that, that book. Um, the seahorse isn't actually a horse at all. It's actually uh, a crustacean. A crustacean? So, I mean, a lot of people often think that the seahorse is the smallest horse. It's not. It's your Shetlands. Is that right? Many of the books that you've shown me I would rather stab myself with a knitting needle than read. I apologise now for miniature Joe's horse owners. Uh, for the whole community. Do you have many of those viewing? You got maybe the miniature horse Are you community. Popular in the miniature horse community, despite not having read, read any books about it? Well, I'm a bit of a player in the miniature horse community. I wouldn't say I'm. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. What does playing in the miniature horse community involve? I mean, I get amongst it, Joe. I mean, I. You get amongst what? I'm moving those. Do you pat the miniature horses? I'm moving those. Do you circles? ride the miniature horses? Do you I'm, feed the miniature horses? I've got Do you know horses. anything at all about bloody miniature horses? Well, I've invested in some, Joe. You've invested in a miniature horse. How do you invest in a miniature horse? Well, the miniature horse community is just like the normal horse community, only smaller. Okay. Um, you can. There's races going on. You can invest in the miniature horse program. races. Yes, certainly. Where do they hold miniature horse races? I'm just trying to say to you here that. You know nothing about I've miniature read, horses? I've read some books on miniature horses. No, you haven't. I'm you've carried some books. You've brought some books on miniature horses. You haven't read them. You don't know any miniature horses apart from the Shetland Pony. You don't really know that. That was an attempt to show off to me that you'd actually read a book, and you hadn't. I mean, good effort. And I'm pleased to see you randomly drawn from the city library on miniature horses.